Welcome back to Retro Tech Toys, everybody. I know it's been a little while, but now I've got this Mac SE case that was in pretty rough condition until I painted it. And uh, I want to do something with it. And none of the components inside of it work. So, you know, it's also not in that great shape. So I want to take it and make something cool out of it. So I figured we could modernize it. Let's go ahead and get it taken apart. And I'm going to try to retrofit it here for a modern LCD. And this will be a temporary LCD until I get something better. But there you go. You can see there's my paint job. And I didn't do the best paint job on this tiny LCD. But like I said, it's going to be temporary until I get something else in here. Now, I kind of debated on whether or not I wanted the monitor on top. Because it looked kind of cool poking out. But I thought that was a little too weird. So I'm going to put it inside. And yeah, you're going to see some gaps because it's not a perfect fit, but that's okay. This is a temporary screen and a temporary fix because that monitor is a little bit small anyway, and I want something a little bigger. Now we're going to go ahead and cut this down so that we can properly mount the monitor itself in place. And again, I'm going to temporarily mount it in place in a way that I could reverse it if I want to. I'm not going to use screws. I'm going to just use a little bit of glue and I can pull it right out and put a bigger monitor in later. And, uh, you know, this Mac SE, I'm using the screen for it, the CRT itself, in my Mac SE 30 now. And the analog board was kind of weird on this computer, even though it didn't need to be recapped. It was acting up. And it had a bunch of other issues, so let's just do something fun with it. We already have the SE 30. So I'm going to go ahead and smooth out where I cut out this whole panel here. And I'm going to 3D print and put in a new panel. But I want to smooth this out really nicely first so that later on when I do print out a brand new panel for all the new I.O., it will look really good. And that's not going to be finished today. I need to design and print something out. I'm just going to kind of tape it to the back of it. I don't want to use the entire monitor assembly because it's really bulky and I don't need that. So as you see, we've got HDMI here. We've got a barrel plug. Uh, we can make this work perfectly. So let's go ahead and get that fixed up. And I'm experimenting with a 3D printed solution that could fill the gaps where that LCD mounts into place. But that's not going to show up right now. This is just something I'm experimenting with and I'm not sure where I want to go with this just yet. But it'll get there. But I did want to show that I am coming up with solutions and we're not just going to have those big gaps forever. Alright, so here is everything. I want to turn it on and make sure that I put the monitor in place right side up. I want to make sure I don't put the LCD in upside down. So there we go. I'm just going to flip it over and put it in the right way. So for this, I'm just going to set it in there and I'm going to put it in with some electrical tape for now. It's not going to go anywhere. I've got some brackets that I'm going to print out for it so that I can mount it in properly. But like I said, I just kind of want to get this thing together to see sort of what I'm working with. And there we go. Let's just get some tape on it. It's not going to move. It's not going anywhere. And no, it's not going to touch any connections on the bottom and short anything out. Uh, it should hold it in place pretty well. And this is just for testing purposes, like I said. Here it is, and like I said, you're going to see the gaps, but overall, I think the paint job looks pretty good. And, you know, they're both things are painted with the exact same paint. And there it is with the LCD turned on. So I'm going to put this thing together in a minute, and I'm just going to put something inside and turn it on so you can see sort of my proof of concept. I've got a Sega Genesis or Mega Drive Classic Mini stuffed in there at the moment. And that's just for the purposes of this video, so you guys can see something running on it. And like I've mentioned several times, you're going to see the gaps there, but that's going to get replaced with another screen. And it's going to have a better mount that will be more flush later on. But for now, I'm okay with this until I find something that I like better. A classic mini, and I'm going to, uh, I think, put a Raspberry Pi in here. I've got another Raspberry Pi 4B sitting around. I thought about putting a small PC motherboard in here, but I don't want to put a PC motherboard in a Mac. 
I think it'd be cool to put a raspberry pie in here and uh, hey, we could call it an apple pie. That could be pretty cool. But this is just something I wanted to show you guys that I've been working on for a while. Just kind of scratching my head and putting things together and figuring out what I want to do with it. And in a future video, you're going to see this thing come together a lot more with, you know, the Raspberry Pi and proper brackets and all that good stuff. But that's what I've got for today. Thanks for watching Retro Tech Toys. I welcome your opinions. I'll see you next time.